Chuck Wagon MTG is sponsored by BC Comics and Games. Hey everyone, welcome and thank you for joining us for another great video here on Chuck Wagon MTG. Originally, we had planned on showing you guys an opening of some beautiful Scourge packs um well i can't say they were beautiful um because there was an issue with a couple of the packs they were i don't know if they were soaked in like salt water or something but they were the cards were uh, obvious water damage and they had almost crystals on them it was kind of weird so um but anyways uh we went to go put it together and the video file of the actual card opening was corrupt so unfortunately y'all aren't going to be able to see that but i can show you this nice little gem right here this is a foil oh can we focus no we're not going to it is a foil goblin war chief um <laughs> i mean we got something cool out of it but uh unfortunately y'all can't see it i'm sorry uh but instead uh, I went over to my uh, closet of sealed goodness and grabbed one of the pre-release kits I had sitting on top. We got, oh, let's, there we go, uh, got a Dominaria one. So uh, we're going to go ahead and, and crack on into this thing, get the camera going here. Oh, you know what? With this camera, oh, hopefully you can see this. There we go. There's that sexy little beauty. Pack Fresh Foil Goblin War Chief. My oh my. <sighs> I really wish y'all could have seen that. Oh well, tomato, tomato, you know? Isn't that the saying you're supposed to... Isn't that what it means? Pretty sure? Anywho, we'll go ahead and crack this open. I actually found a couple more pre-release kits that uh, I didn't realize I still had that were in there. Um, Alright, so we're going to go ahead and pull all this out. What color dye did we get? Oh, it's, uh, we got another blue one. All right, we'll put that in the collection of dice. Sometime, someday I will show you my uh, collection of spin downs. I actually used to have them in like this little treasure chest, uh, but they have since outgrown it. So here's our packs. Let's go ahead and see what our promo is. I hate opening these. You know what? We got a knife right here. We're just going to go ahead and do that because I hate opening these. I always feel like I'm going to damage the cards. Alrighty, let's see what we got. Um, oh, we got a dump, yeah, okay, that's that's not too shabby. I should probably get in focus here, or in center. Alright, let's see what our other one is. We got a... Hey, winner, winner, chicken dinner. We got a foil farm. Scion of Urza. Well, looks like we were just meant to open fire for this particular video. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Alrighty. Alright, well, per usual, we're going to go ahead and take this first pack. Uh, whenever we try to open something new, we're going to take the first pack and we're going to open it up for our patrons. So whatever good stuff uh, is in here is going to go into our Patreon Build-A-Pack box, which you can check out our Patreon down below in the links. Go ahead and see what, what we have to offer. Um, now, unfortunately, I think we used up all of our luck on uh on our promo there but we're gonna go ahead and give it a whirl anyways all right we got a knight of grace diligent excavator and we got a cabal stronghold that's not too shabby and we got a slime foot the stowaway all right he's not he's not too bad um i mean he's 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 not worth anything but he is a fun guy to build around fun guy to build uh I'll see myself out. Okay, so we got a Cabal Stronghold. Um, I honestly don't know what's at. I think it's over a buck. Um, it's it's a much worse coffers. Um, but tell you what, Chromatic Black, this this card's an all-star. Um, yeah, all right. So we'll go ahead and the, all that is going to be for the Build-A-Pack box. Let's go ahead and see what we get in this next one here. All right, skip past all that, and okay, we got ourselves a memorial to unity, we, memorial to war, and a Mishra's self replicator and a Raf Capuchin, ship's mage. Toss that aside. You know what? We'll throw 
We'll throw Mishra's Replicator in that pile, too. Um, I don't think the lands are worth anything. I actually don't even remember if Mishra's uh, Replicator is worth anything. I want it to be, because I like the idea of what it does, but I don't think it's actually worth anything. Can we Helm of the Host? I think Helm of the Host should be way above where it's at, because it is so good. Helm of the Host in EDH is disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. Um, I'm actually running an EDH deck right now that runs, um, oh man, the uh, Crater Hoof Behemoth. Putting Helm of the Host on Crater Hoof Behemoth is ridiculous. Great way to make enemies. <laughs> uh, we got a Wizard's Lightning, that's not too shabby. We got a Cast Down, that's not too shabby either. Uh, Orcish Vandal, and then we got a Lyra Dawnbringer. Man, we are just, we are opening some juice today. I don't know if Lyra's still up there. I don't think she is. Oh, and I just hit the mic. I apologize for that. It was loud. I'll try to fix that in post. Tell you what, though. This is looking like not too shabby of a of a pre-release kit. Um, this is kind of fanning through here. Uh, nothing really good there. Uh, got the wall. Jahor's familiar. And... Uh, Primeval's Glorious Rebirth. Uh, that probably would have been too fun. But we did get a Groon, so... I don't know, maybe this would have been a good... A good green-black, maybe? Um, I did see a decent amount of white that I would have played, too. So I, I don't know if maybe we would have thrown that in there. I don't know. I got a Rat Colony. Why are we not? There we go. Tuck that back. I think we got a foil that I keep trying to show off. Short sword. Another cast down. So yeah, I'd, I think I would be running black in this. Just we got two cast downs. Uh, we got another familiar. We got a Jaya's Immolating Inferno. And then a foil Frenzied Rage. Oh, and then Tetsuko. This is actually... I don't know. I might have to go back through this to, to see what uh, what kind of stuff uh, would have been ran. Um, I am just all over the place. My cards are everywhere. I don't even know what the heck's going on. I don't know, folks. I'm sorry. I just I got the Lyra. I got the Foil Karn. So I'm just... I don't know. Let's see what we get in this last pack. Let's see if we can get in focus first. There we go. Thank you for cooperating. Wait a second, I forget, we're looking to see if maybe, Invoke the Divine, no, Radiant Lightning, I don't know, man, I I don't know. Alright, we got ourselves a Druid, a Seal Away, that, that's pretty good, and a Gilded Lotus, that's not bad either, and then we got a, oh, a Foil Lingering Phantom, and then an Ergos, the Empty One. Ergoros. Ergoros. There we go. Um, so, you know, honestly, could we go three colors in this? Um, what does he do? Uh, oh yeah, he's not as... I, I thought he was really good in pre-release, and then after my first couple games, I'm like, no, no, I don't, I don't dig him. Um, I mean, that's not bad. Guild of Lotus, Lotus is mana fixing. That's pretty good. Uh... That's actually pretty good. We got cast down. Rat colony. If we got enough of them, but not, not very likely. Um, that guy wasn't bad. We did get Groon. I mean, if you got enough legendaries, but... Uh, Another cast on Wizard's Lightning. I am doing this completely bass backwards here, and I apologize for that. All right. Um, no, no. Eh. Uh, that's not that's not too bad if you get a bunch of historic stuff. Um, Shepherd brings out extra dudes. Deep Freeze is kind of nice. Feral Abomination. <laughs> uh, I got the Black Bear, Sentry, Primordial Worm, that's kind of hard to deal with. The Drake, okay, so the Drake isn't bad. 
Uh, flyers in general. Syncopate. Eh. Uh, actually, I really like this guy. The fact that he can come out um, as a 1-1 with Menace or a 3-3 with Menace, uh, depending on where you're at in the game, is kind of nice. Uh, eviscerate, there's another kill spell. See, I'm... Th oh, run amok. I love this card. Love it, love it, love it. Um, I'm thinking, as I'm trying to go through here, and my randomness of piles... Um, I'm thinking black, red, maybe? Or maybe black, red, white? Or... I don't know. We got the Gilded Lotus. I mean, so there is fixing. and But you know, it doesn't even matter. We got a foil flipping Karn. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Um, so yeah, you know, going through what we got here, um, what would you have played? You know, here, let's go through this one. Oh, I forgot, but we got the, we did have the Stronghold. But that's really only good if you're going mono black. So, um, oh, the slime foot too. So maybe a green, black, white? I think is... No, probably stick green-black. Because uh, there's not a whole lot of fixing aside from the Lotus, so... Um, yeah. Yeah, probably, I probably would have gone green-black at my first glance here, but... Anyways, um, man, I think we we did pretty darn well uh, with Foil Karn. I don't even know what the pre-release promo Karn is at. Um, but it's shiny and it's mythic, so... I'm calling it good. All right, well, thank you all very much for watching. If you like what you saw here today, do us a huge favor. Click that like button. Be sure to hit subscribe. Be sure to hit that little bell notification button so you can tell we're coming out with new stuff. And then share this with your friends, your family, your loved ones, and your pets. Everyone could use a little more magic in their lives. Once again, thank you very much for watching. As always, you can find us on Facebook and Twitter, Chuckwagon MTG. Chuckwagon MTG is sponsored by BC Comics and Games.